Hi guys, Dr. Luster here, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what is acupuncture. Now, this is a super loaded question. It's a very hard concept, and I would argue that no one truly has the answer to this question, <laughs> but there are definitely some interesting ways to go about this. So I usually tell people, or I try to gauge based off of the person, uh, which example that they will go for more. Now, but again, they're both cool. So let's go the scientific route. Acupuncture has actually, they've actually been able to take like a camera and look at what is happening in the system um, when the needle is stuck in. And what's really cool with this is that the needle goes through, you know, the couple layers of skin and whatnot, and then it goes down into the fascia. Now fascia is, you know, the casing that's like on a sausage. I know that sounds horrible, but it's like a sausage casing for your muscles and you have multiple layers of sausage casings. So most people know that like in your arm, you have multiple muscles, right? Well, around each muscle is a sausage casing and then around the bundle of muscles is a sausage casing and then around like your entire arm is a sausage casing and then there are ones that connect your arm to other parts of your body or whatnot. And so you have multiple layers of sausage casing. So ultimately that's fascia and you have fascial planes and trains or which are just different patterns that form when the fascia is how it's all connected. So you can see wide ranging effects. So for example, I might be able to affect parts of your rib cage or whatever as a result of working on your arm because of the fascial connections to it if that makes sense so because uh, things just tie all to each other just you know strap in anyways so with acupuncture when you are sticking in this needle you are sticking it down into the fascia and if you can imagine Usually with acupuncture, a lot of times you'll turn it one way or the other too, which exacerbates what I'm going to say, but you don't have to, to get the same effect. But anyways, um, you are creating slack. You are pulling more of the tissue together and by creating a dent in it, if that makes sense. And then if you turn it, there's even more of that uh, tension being pulled. And so then I hold it and hold it and hold it and hold it until the rest of the system right so now because initially that slack is making everything go like this and then it relaxes right and so then when I release the needle there's slack in the system so now things can fall back more into place or they can move better the the things that were locked up like maybe scar tissue or toxin buildup or whatever that can move better now so it really does increase blood flow and energetic flow and oxygen and all of the things toxin removal detox all of those things because it created a slack in the system now that's the scientific explanation right uh, the one that we can measure now there is definitely the more traditional Chinese medicine way of looking at acupuncture and I believe that I truly believe that it is the better route of looking at this because um, there's so much about acupuncture that we don't understand why it works but it really does have these profound effects and we see them clinically and it's important to understand that not everything can be reproduced all of the time um, in a research type setting because different people have different results and so sometimes you can't just expect you know the same people to respond the same way to a clinical experience so um, clinically it is profound the effects that acupuncture has and it can have a lot of different effects on a lot of different internal organs or um, disorders of the mind like uh, anxiety and depression and whatnot um, one of my former clinicians actually he did a whole lot of research specifically on how acupuncture affected anxiety that was his go-to um and the effects that it has and it's pretty significant so uh, the ramifications i guess of acupuncture are huge and so to try and explain it as you know like oh we're creating slack in the system to release some things i think it's doing it a little bit of a disservice um just because Yes, but if that's the case, how are we affecting, you know, the level that we see of affecting, you know, the emotions and the mind and the 
organ systems and whatnot. And it could be through just lack of the system, who knows? But I just think that it's a more wide ranging thing and truly more truthful way to uh, explain acupuncture is in this Chinese medicine way of thinking about it. And when I say that, I'm specifically referring to, I like to give the example of, um, you know, your grandma giving you chicken soup when you're sick. Now, why is she prescribing you chicken soup? Now, there are a lot of actual benefits to chicken soup that we could break down in science and say, you know, like, ah, oh, because it has this protein and it has these, you know, antioxidants and blah, 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 blah. Yes, it, there are some things in there, but your grandma doesn't know that, you know, and neither did her grandma or whatever, but for whatever reason, someone along the line found out that chicken soup was a good thing to give people when they were sick, right? And there are some things you just kind of intuitively know, like we just know as people or like, or as living beings, you know, I always find that it's funny. Uh, another great example is when people are hurting, they're, also, they're always kind of trying to stretch or move in ways to help release the thing um, that are similar to what I would be doing in an adjustment. They just can't quite get it all of the way, but your body intuitively knows what motion it wants to release it. Um, so kind of the same thing with acupuncture. I think we are doing it a disservice to just say that um, it's just as simple as this when truly there is some intuitive aspects to this to say like, I don't know why if I put a needle here, it affects all the way down there or it affects my gallbladder or whatever, um, but it does and it works. So does it matter why? You know, I'm kind of that person that says, I don't necessarily need to always know. I need to know that it does and that it does consistently and it's okay for me not to be able to completely understand it because I also believe that we don't understand the whole body or so how could I even hope to understand how some of these more complex things work. But, um, you know, that's just kind of a different mindset and that's specifically how I uh, explain acupuncture to people because it is just a very profound, very deep healing tool. Um, but you can always use the scientific explanation because it's very cool. So I hope that that helps a little bit. Um, it really does have huge wide ranging effects on things and um, I really enjoy using it in um, practice. I tend to use it to supplement uh, my chiropractic stuff because I do believe that chiropractic is a little bit more significant, but that's just uh, my bias. Um, but I do also do just acupuncture by itself. Um, but yeah, I hope that that helps and definitely reach out if you're interested in trying acupuncture or if you want to know more about it or if you have questions about it, um, definitely here for you guys and I hope that helps. Thanks guys.